Now, for the last group, I want to ask you it's a two-fold question. Leave these are the new school. Oh, that's cool. okay. So these are new schools, like the best and worst group I worked with of all time. Because yeah, they, they were like the rhymes go, they kicked them out, didn't they? They didn't really kick them out, they kind of just ruined it all. Like, so so it was like they never got along too good. There was always like tension between mm. Brown and Buster. It was always beef, always little shit going on. And um it was jealousy because Buster was a star. We seen it. He was exactly. like, This motherfucker is a star. And Charlie Brown was dope. Don't get it fucked up. Well, no, he, he was, was Buster. Yeah, he was no, he wasn't he not Buster Rhymes though. You know, there's he only one of him. Showman. He wasn't the yeah. showman that Buster was. Right. Buster right. knew he had the showmanship. You get me? Right. Everybody else is in the group. You get me? Right. We, right. We got lyrics. We got lyrics, but you you know when there's the that nigga's gonna be superstar. You get me? I mean yeah. he he had that Jamaican dance hall shit. You know what I mean? That like, you know, like like in New York, we have a lot of Jamaican culture. I grew up, I lived in Brooklyn, um, went to high school in Brooklyn. So Jamaican people is just, um, if you ever go to Jamaica and if you ever peep any dance or shit, no slouches make it. Cause it's so, th it's the third world in Jamaica. My book is just, poverty is real. So if you made records in Jamaica, you dope as fuck. Buster has that thing in him. Like he's super competitive and super dope because it means everything to him. His work ethic is crazy. So, you know, there, there was jealousy and, and it was mounting. And um, as we got to the second record, like I always say, scenario is the greatest thing to have in the Leaders in New School. It's the worst thing to have in the Leaders mm -hmm. in New School. Because Buster Rhymes, Q-Tip threw him the crazy alley-oop, right? He was like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this whole record, this one part is a showcase for him. Like watch this. And he passes him the, the, the fucking line. rock. Exactly, drops the drums. And then Buster has the, you know, he's just no drums. And he just, as I come, you know, as I rewind, like the shit is just crazy. So after that, everyone's tapping on Buster's shoulder, do this feature, do this feature, puffs in his ear. Fucking everyone's trying to fuck with him. Big is hollering at him. He's, a, you know, um, tribe is with him all the time. He's like, he is starting to really shine and, and shit gets really hectic. And with that second record time, if you ever listen to it, they're all, trying to out rap each other no one's giving each other it's not a group no more it's all like look at me look at me it's not cohesive and um they made the record the first time and it was yo it was whack yo they delivered it the first time and chris light he rest in peace he was their manager he was like my really good friend and me and chris, i was like chris what's up with this record he's like this shit's whack i was like this shit's whack so we sent him back we sent him back to do the whole record again and it got better but not not a whole lot better and I had one a Q tip to go do the whole the redo the whole record and, and all was so bugged out. All of them said no, but Buster took me aside. He said, Yo, I like that idea. That's and I was like, this guy's smarter than everyone else. So the record came out and it didn't it didn't do too too good, got bad reviews, and I knew they're gonna break up. And the whole time, me and Chris was like, Buster, we got you on the solo, we got you on the solo, we got you, we got you. And it took him, he didn't want to do it. He did not want to do it because he was a little scared. He's only 19. And he had been in a group and he felt like he didn't want to be disloyal. He felt like that was, you know, this is my clique and I'm going to, I'm going to ride out with my people. And that's what I signed on for. And then when, when, when Charlie pulled that shit on the OMTV raps, when he basically was like broke the band up on TV, you know, Buster was so, um, man, you, you ever seen someone get so mad they cry? Yeah. Like they just, so mad they cry like they they're not they're not hurt like that they're not sad they're so angry they cry because they want to kill somebody that's how buster was and um me and him just we hung out the whole the whole day like and and um i was like you come on man you know what it is like you know you ready and he was like you know he's like i think i'm ready and he came back and said he was ready and then bomb we just went and did the buster rhyme show and that was that you know and like i don't regret it at all look I, those guys leaders had talent you know, but but um, Buster Rhymes was probably always should have been a solo artist. He's that dope, and and you know the proof is in the pudding. He's still here, still relevant. Well, how many years later, right? Thirty five years later, it's like it's like brand newbie in 